smokers out there in YouTube land, friends, brothers of the leaf. Um, tonight I'm going to be uh, sharing a few things with you. Um, things that I've recently bought and some things that I'm going through in my personal life. Um, normally, um, I don't usually get into my personal life on here. I don't usually tell too much about it. Um, but I noticed it's a kind of a, a prevalent thing amongst the pipe smokers community and to, um, everybody's got problems, okay? And this is just, this is just real life, okay? So, you know, why should I sit here and, uh, you know, do all these videos and make believe that I don't have any problems? It's not like I'm making believe I don't. It's just sometimes it's good to uh, bring out the things that are going on in your life and uh, share some things. Maybe get some feedback, etc. Whatever you know. So, um, and I got a couple funny stories to tell. Besides the fact that I'm growing my beard back, that's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't colored it yet. It would normally just come in all mostly all gray. I've colored this part. And then I decided to grow my whole beard back in. Um, that was inspiration from the one and only Hillman, a pipe smoker, which I'd like to give a shout out to. And I'd like to say that Hillman, you will be in my prayers. Um, I watched your video about your ongoing um, health issues and uh, you will certainly be in my prayers so that's something to uh, think about anyway I uh, went to the mailbox today and I received a package something that I've been waiting for for well not very long a couple days and it uh, came very quickly uh, it was a part that I had that broke on my uh, vacuum system, which I used to seal um, my uh, pipe tobacco with. And it looks like I'm going to need something. Uh, uh, maybe I can. No, I got it. Got to get me one of those knives that people use. I forget what it's called now. The, uh, the real nice one. A lot of people use anyway I have a jiffy cutter that I normally use to open stuff up with but I got this in the mail and this goes hooks to my vacuum sealer and this goes onto the uh, wide mouth uh, covers that parts that you put over top of the um, jar to suck the air out. This goes on the vacuum and this goes inside the center of those uh, parts. So, uh, thanks to the guy, the fellow who sent this very quickly. It only took like 
two days. I think I emailed the guy on uh, Saturday, on Friday night. Um, you can find him on eBay. And his name is a great deal. A period great period deal. And he's a very good uh, seller. Very good to work with. Um, he has accommodated me very well. So. Um, anyway. In the store a few days ago. And I probably spent some money that I shouldn't have on this. I was in a Walgreens and I saw this Dr. Graybo. As you know, that's the kind of uh, cool thing about Walgreens is you can actually still go in Walgreens and buy a you know tobacco pipe, uh, smoking pipe, and not a bad company, Graybo. And this is a uh, Grand Duke. Rusticated. You can see, get a good close look at that. I haven't opened it yet, but I will. And on top of that, I found as if I need another Missouri Meerschaum, right? I found one of these um, for $9.99. By the way, this pipe here was, um, I believe it was $35. So, not the cheap, well, a good price for a pipe, we'll put it that way. And this one's $9.99. Missouri Marshall. And um, to my surprise, when I look behind the counter, I noticed that Walgreens sells pipe tobacco. This is Blender's Gold. This uh, is put out by um, the uh, Sutliff Tobacco Company. This one here is uh, Toasted Cavendish. This is considered premium pipe tobacco. I don't know if it'll live up to its name, but uh, that's what it says. Um, so I'm going to pack these, I'm going to open up this Graybo and I'm going to pack it with some of this stuff and we'll try some of this stuff out. I'm going to I want to read the back of the tin first on this tobacco. Blender's Gold All Natural Pipe Tobacco, Premium Quality Pipe Tobacco, Toasted Cavendish. All natural tobacco, cool smoking, even burning without a bite. Mild black fire cured Cavendish, unusual rich flavor, richly aromatic, excellent for blending, slow burning Cavendish cut. Um, I think it's kind of unique sometimes to be able to walk into a drugstore and get a drugstore pipe and a drugstore tobacco, but I'm going to find out exactly what this tastes like. Pop the tin open. Mm. Actually, actually has a good smell. It smells like black Cavendish. doesn't appear too moist like it need, really needs to dry it out but it's it probably could it probably could stand a little drying out but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put some in the bowl here old Dewey sitting by here listening to Fats Waller <laughs> Yeah, that was Yui the comment at the beginning of the video there. He he likes listening to Fats Waller. Don't you, Yui? You like listening to old jazz, don't you? Huh? Very smart cat. Tuxedo cats are one of the smartest cats around, by the way. Um, you want to help me pack my pipe? Mm hmm. Can you smoke some? I don't think you'd want to snack on this.
can I say? A cheap drugstore blend. Not really that great. Room note is awesome. Room note's wonderful. Zippo, we'll do it every time. Starting to get a little bit more flavor. So-so. Mm, so. I think Captain Black's got this one beat. for how much tobacco do you get here? You get uh, three and a half ounces. Um, I just like paying three fifty for a little over an ounce and a half. Um, excuse me, no, it's seven fifty. Mm, that's a little expensive. If you ask me but this is from you know on the back it you read you read the bottom of the tin on the back and it says www.sutliftobacco.com so this comes from Sutliff and, and um it's great this is a new gray boat I just bought and this is my first smoke of course and you know something it's they're they're nice pipes they're not bad at all, and um, they're also they're also pre-smoked, by the way. And um, what I find is, uh, in, in, they, they not do, do not have like a, a long break-in period. I noticed, and uh, I always wondered how they, you know, got the bowl black. Whether this was something they spread on the, the uh, ash or black ash and water. Um, they have a circular mach production machine in the factory and the pipes are loaded onto that and one bowl of tobacco is smoked as the pipes spin around this machine so they are broken in that way Um, I don't really recommend this tobacco, really, it's, it's, I'll tell you what, it tastes better than velvet, I didn't like velvet, I tried that the other night. Noticed I'm drinking um, tea, iced tea. From time to time, I switch off from coffee back to iced tea, and um, 
I seem to have this this problem with coffee. I love coffee, okay, but um, I also get anxiety from it. And um, well, at tops. I usually can only drink it for like two or three days and then I'm, I'm okay but if I if I get a di like an addiction to it and I drink it for like two or three weeks I get I get sick and then I have to go off of it and go back onto my tea and I usually not feel well for like three or four days from that um, it's an unfortunate thing I don't know if any of you suffer from that or if any of you can give me any kind of feedback on that. I do make my coffee strong, so I make it stronger than uh, most people do. In fact, people that have drank my coffee tell me that, gosh, nobody that I know can drink coffee this strong. I can't drink it this strong, so I do make it strong. So, Let's get this pipe fired up here. I can't get it going for some reason. I think this tobacco needs a little drying out. It might be good mixed with something else, maybe. And of course, as I usually do, I take the uh, filter out and get rid of it. But yeah, I think this tobacco needs dried out. It's not uh, smoking very, very good. Um, I seem to have no problem getting a good draw on this. Mild tobacco. Tell you what, I'd rather be smoking Prince Albert. So I, this is not, not something I'd recommend, but I wanted to give it a whirl, see what it was really like. Got a, I got a funny story to tell though. We got a little critter in the house, a mouse. And so the other night, it was over here in the cupboard. And my roommate, I told him, next time you hear that, any rustling around or scratching around in that cupboard, open it up and let the cat in, right? And he says, I don't know, I don't know, man. It might be like, what if it's a big rat? I said, mm, I doubt if it's a big rat, but open it up. Just check it out, see if it's a big rat, see what it is. Because when I had this thing, like, I heard this thing in the ceiling one night. So he opened it up. And the chase ensued throughout the house, and um, my one cat, Echo, she got the mouse in her mouth, but she didn't kill it. As you know, a lot of cats, they like to play with mice when they catch them, rather than kill it. So she was basically just playing with it, letting it loose, chasing it, and what a mess. The mouse ran behind my computer where all the wires were, and they were running, cats were running all around back and forth behind there, and um, knocking the road, knocking the, um, the router off, switch off, and the phone was going off, the internet was going off, and um, I said, look, I got to do something about this before they completely knock the power out. On the, knock the power switch, uh, the switch on the uh, power strip out. Or worse yet, unplug something back there because it's kind of hard to get back there. So I had to get down and get a back scratcher and kind of get back in there and uh, chase the mouse out of there. So 
that they chased it back in here again. They got a hold of it again. And I wanted to get a hold of it and put it outside and turn it loose. Couldn't get a hold of it. Didn't get a hold of it. Ran behind the stove eventually. Haven't seen it since. Um, don't know what happened to it, but anyway. Got three cats here, and there's a mouse running around, and none of them will do their job with that. So, can I say, Yui here, he's a big cat, and didn't even seem like he was interested in it. I, that kind of shocked me. Um, but, um, on other notes, you know. I just moved recently, and I wasn't getting back to um, my pipe videos right away, as well as my other hobbies. And I have hobbies that I would like to get back to, and I just have not had the chance to get back to them. Um, I do model railroading, HO scale, model railroading. And the last time I worked on that hobby was 2014, it was May 2014, when I lived up in New Jersey, and that was like three years ago. Uh, I moved down here and just didn't have a room for it where I was living when I was living at the other place I was living at. So finally, the, the people I was living with decided to give me a room. Well, before I had a chance to uh, start work on that, uh, my friend uh, decided he wanted to get a place down here, moved down, so we got a place, and uh, we share our place here, so now this place has no room for, so, for a model railroad, so we're going to be moving in another place that's bigger, and then I'll eventually get back to that, but who knows when, um, been away from it for quite a while. I miss that hobby. I'm right away from my guitar. I haven't been playing my guitar because I've been doing a lot of pipe videos, and that's another thing. Uh, you know, it's hard. Like I was watching um, Hillman's video, and he was he brought this up. You know, when you get away from something, it's kind of hard to get back to it. It really is. Yeah, this tobacco is very, uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, but anyway, that's what's happening. Toasted Cavendish. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes I get some flavor out of this. It's not so really bad. Totally. Could be a lot better. I can't believe they're charging $12.99 for a tin of this. Now, previously I had seen in uh, Pottsville Piper's video where he only paid like $8.49 for a tin of this. $12.99? But here's my other mirror show, of course. And I went ahead and got one of those. So, uh, so I wouldn't give this tobacco a very good, uh, a very high rating. Well, you know, when you first start smoking a pipe, it, it tastes like cardboard. I don't know why, but just, even if it's got the bowl pre-smoked or or it's got the carbon, it still does not. It's not broken in it. It's not. It tastes like you're 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 smoking plastic or cardboard sometimes.
but don't go by the fact that they're Dr. Grabo's because they're good pipes. You can get a decent pipe for a good price. These guys have been in business for a long time. I believe it's what, 40 years they've been in business? At least, and um, more than 40 years. And um, I'm reading the back of the the blister pack card right now bring a total of some 1400 years of skill to creating the best value for quality pipes available in the USA today made from quality natural Mediterranean briar each pipe passes through 52 production phases with quality control checks at every stage every Dr. Graybo pipe is unique um, the, above that it says our employees many with more than 40 years of pipe making experience so and of course uh, they're crafted in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, which is Sparta, North Carolina. And um, some of these you'll get a coupon for five dollars, where you can mail it in and get a uh, you'll get a little card that has a code on it. You just mail that on in and get a coupon for five dollars. But anyway, I got my part back, and I can get back into business, uh, vacuum sealing my tobaccos back where they should be. All right, this isn't too bad. It has its moments, okay? You know, um, I've been, I cut the camera time short here a little, and I've been smoking in and um, working my way down the bowl, and um, I don't know. It's, um, boy, you know what? It almost, it almost tastes like, uh, uh, Toasted marshmallows or s'mores, s'mores or something. You know the s'mores with the crackers and the, you know the chocolate and the marshmallows. It's a cheap drugstore tobacco, but. Once I work my way halfway down the bowl, it's not real bad. I'm seriously considering maybe mixing it with a with a, with another tobacco. Um, wonder what it would taste like mixed with uh, Prince Albert, or if it would ruin the Prince Albert. Don't know. Um, let's get the tin another whiff. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of s'mores. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Some things just uh, register differently with different people, right? Still, I won't be real buying. I won't be buying this again. Um, it's not that good. Definitely not one of my favorites. Definitely way, 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 way down on the list. Um, Mildly pleasant. Mm, I'm going to give it two and a half stars. You know, I, I want to say something about uh, reviewing tobaccos. 
I, I'm not a qualified uh, tobacconist, and I'm not a qualified tobacco reviewer. Um, my my videos are basically uh, done to to share my pipe smoking experience with you guys out there, and like what I what I get uh, from a particular pipe. the flavor I get from a particular tobacco, what it, what it, what I get from it, what it tastes I get from it, um, maybe share some stories. I'm not like a qualified, uh, tobacco, you know, reviewer, so don't come to my videos if you're looking for, you know, uh, and for, for an 100%, uh, uh, accurate review. Um, as you would with a critic, uh, even you know what though. Even so, even with critics, movie critics, music critics, uh, reviewers, uh, coffee reviewers, tobacco reviewers, wine tasters, um, really, it all lies within the beholder. It's like, what do you taste? Uh, what do you like? Um, I'm just telling you what I like, and uh, maybe if you find that there's a lot of tobaccos that I like that you like too incidentally then maybe you can follow up on what I'm saying about another tobacco but then again maybe not well we might taste three tobaccos the same way we or we may like three tobaccos and then the fourth one we may disagree on so it's just uh, these videos are for share experiences to tell stories and for us to listen to each other what we have to say um, but I have to say it's not always interesting and um, if you want to watch it you can that's up to you but uh, that's why I do the videos by the way another point that might be of interest to you this blenders gold also makes cigars I saw the cigars in Walgreens the big the large cigars so I haven't tried any out yet, but don't know what they're like, but just thought I might mention that. And with that being said, I'm going to slide on out of here, smoke the rest of this bowl, enjoy this Bravo, take care everybody, and enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. See ya. Yeah. Gotta tell you all about that new gal in town. Yeah, yeah. Known this baby Brown. No matter where you've been, sir. No matter what you've seen. You never frown on baby Brown. The big sweet Georgia queen. Better show some jolly friends, sir. Just past 17. There's none in town like baby Brown. That big sweet Georgia queen. She's cute and pert. Got that certain thing you know the rest. You can't help flirting. She makes that curtain ring down on the bell. She's always bound to win, sir. Saying what I mean. Oh, my money's down on baby Brown. The big sweet Georgia queen, yeah. Thank <laughs> you.